Let us understand the difference between O data and SOAP. So, what is O data? What is SOAP? When should we use O data and SOAP? So, if we take O data, so O data means open data protocol. Okay, open data protocol. So, open data protocol is uh, used to create and consume a RESTful API. Okay, I have already discussed about what is REST API and everything. You can check that in my previous video. So, this O data is a standard way of creating and consuming APIs for data sources such as database, file system, and web services. Okay, so O data is basically built on top of standard web protocol. So, what is the web protocol which is HTTP? Is a web protocol. So, HTTP is hypertext standard for protocol. protocol. So, it is uh, built on this protocol and autumn pub and json okay and it provides a standardized way of representing and accessing data over the web so if you want to access the o data over the web so this o data will provide a standardized way so o data is designed to be very simple lightweight and scalable it also provides a common way of accessing data from di different sources regardless of their underlying data models okay any data model it might be so we have various data models whatever the source it may be okay so you can easily access it through o data okay so various things in a sense various uh, uh, sources and regardless their uh, meaning is what it might be the mobile if even if you wanted to access through the mobile phone or website or an application or analytics tool so whatever it may be all data will be perfectly suitable for that that is a lightweight okay and talking about the soap soap is simple object access protocol this is simple object access protocol so this is a protocol which we use to exchange structured information over the web using xml so if you are uh, using soap then it will transfer it will exchange the data through xml whereas if it is o data you will be using a json Okay, it is a messaging protocol that allows application to communicate with each other over the internet regardless of their underlying technologies and programming language. So, whatever it may be, both will be useful even if uh, any uh, regardless of uh, the technology or any programming language. So, SOAP is designed to be platform and language independent and it provides a standardized way of defining the structure and content of a message exchanged between application okay so soap as i told soap is based on xml based standard standards which includes xml schema for defining the types like xml namespaces xml documents wsdl like web service description language all these things will come based on the xml based thing so now you will get the um uh, important uh, understanding you should know what is the major difference between the soap and uh, o data okay so based on what based on the messaging format so first one is what based on messaging format so how the format will be always soap format uh, uh, follows the xml based thing okay xml format whereas o data will follow the json okay or data messages are typically formatted using json so next in terms of data access okay so if you go in terms of a data access soap can be used for a wide range of application including uh, accessing data invoking methods performing other functions whereas o data is designed for accessing data okay so o data is only for data whereas soap is used for accessing uh, the data data if you wanted to invoke the methods okay all these things are 
possible with the data access and interface definition so, so o data is basically a url based interface definition so o data if it is what interface definition okay so if you take interface definition uh, uh, usually SOAP will go with WSDL that is web service description language to define the interface of web service so WSDL because uh, since it follows the messaging format of XML so WSDL whereas O data will uh, will use the URL based interface definition okay it uses URL based interface definition okay and then fourth one is what we can uh, use uh, transport okay so this is um, soap and this is o data and what is the criteria okay so if you take transport okay in terms of transport you can see that uh, o data are usually transported through http because it always uses what web services sorry it always uses a website web based thing whereas soap messages can be transported using a variety of application layer protocol like http um okay so soap uh, will be used for http smtp smtp in terms of simple mail transfer proto protocol and ftp file transfer protocol okay so if you go with the protocol complexity okay so this is protocol complexity um protocol soap is generally considered more complex okay this is more complex than o data o data will be less complex okay so uh, o data is focused on providing a standard way to access data over a web while soap is more general purpose messaging protocol that can be used for a wide range of applications so now i can tell you like when which one is the best thing okay like when you have to choose o data and when you have to choose uh, soap okay when to use soap and when to use o data now le let us understand when to use o data so you should use o data when your primary goal is to access and manipulate data over the web the data is represented in a simple and hierarchical structure a data is large and or requires pagination or filtering the data is consumed by a wide range of clients and platforms performance is major consideration as o data is generally faster than soap okay so the higher thing is what it, it has higher performance than soap okay whereas when you have to consider uh, soap okay so when you should consider soap as what soap is basically the web service which needs to support complex operations such as transactions or security so if you wanted to use this if your uh, transactions would be secured mm. then you can go ahead with soap the web services mm, web service needs to support different messaging patterns such as request response publish and subscribe the web service needs to support multiple data formats such as binary or text the web services needs to be highly reliable and fault tolerant so as soap provides built in error handling and recovery mechanisms are very easy and interoperability with legacy system is requirement as soap has been widely adopted and supported for many years so o data is simpler and more lightweight than soap making it uh, so you have to decide which one you wanted to go with like either o data or a soap is based on these criteria okay so i'll be um, posting about an another uh, video like based on all these requests okay like http request get post response everything so if you have any queries uh, please leave your message so few comments i cannot do it immediately but definitely i will um, uh, i will work on it and i will uh, do it okay thank you take care bye bye